So guys, welcome to episode number four of the Barcelona Cremated series. Jumping straight into today's episode, we're actually going to be scouting a central midfielder at Ajax. Yes, I've put my scout on for one of their central midfielders. I want to try and sign another central midfielder. Thank you guys so much. Uh, for your support on the double upload yesterday. Yes, thank you so much for your support on the double upload yesterday I did ask you guys did you want me to speed up the training session and actually show you guys the training sessions With my players or do you want me to skip the training sessions? And I just show you guys the overall ratings that my players did get for the training sessions you guys did let me know in the comment section and so you guys actually want to see the training sessions, but just sped up like I'm doing here right now. And hey, yes, I'm going to do what you guys want me to do. So you guys can see the training sessions that I'm doing with my players, but they are obviously just sped up a little bit. While I'm doing the training session, guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like rating. Make sure you drop a comment down below that I could first respond to. We're still in the transfer window at episode number four, which is just awesome. This preseason... Uh, is going to go till maybe the end of the next episode or the episode after that. As I did say in the last episode, FIFA 16 career mode, I'm loving it so far because I actually feel like I have a full pre-season with my team in previous FIFA, FIFA 15. I just feel like I got into the main season straight away when I wanted a full pre-season with my squad. So guys... Also, click subscribe if you are new around here to the home of FIFA 16 career mode. If you have missed episodes 1, 2, and 3 of this series, there will be a series playlist down below in the description. Also, follow me on all my social media links down below. As we will be doing the final training session here with Sergio Roberto. I have changed up his training session. He's going to actually be improving his through balls. So Sergio Roberto improving his through balls. He's training with the, obviously the likes of Messi, Suarez, Neymar. With this through ball drill, uh, the ball does get played to me. And all I really have to do is just play the ball through perfectly. As he does pick up an A from that training session. After the, all the training, Lacazette did get an A, Bartra got a B, Munier got an A, Tostigan got a B in his throws and kicking training session, and Sergio Roberto did pick up a B also, as we will be going heading into another training session here, and you guys probably did notice before I jumped into the training session and from the gameplay, that this training session is a bunch of new uh, skill games, uh, new training sessions you guys are saying that i am working on different things so i have actually bumped up the training sessions to hard so some players will actually be doing the hard training sessions and a few players will be still doing those mediums i started off fifth 16 crew mode with this team in episodes one and two just really going with the easier medium training sessions not doing things too not doing things too hard and just getting used to these still skill games in FIFA 16. But now I'm getting used to them and I'm going to bump them up too hard. As Lacazette in his chant creation training session actually picked up an A. And that is actually a time consuming thing you can say. It did take me a while to do that training session. It was obviously on hard. As Bartra, he's one on one defending with Messi. He picked up an A in his training session. Speed dribbling, I've kept it with Munier as his stats are skyrocketing high that is correct Munez's uh, stats are just so uh, going up so much which is just awesome to see the young man let's see how far I can get him up in his overall come the end of this series actually doing the final training session here with Sergio Roberto it's actually going to be um, I want to say a bit of a passing drill here with him Iniesta and Messi so guys we're actually going to be having the Spanish Super Cup the first leg to end off today's episode and we're still in the transfer window so if you have any transfer suggestions for me drop it down in the comment section Lacazette picked up an A in his training session so did Bartra and Munier sadly to Steigen did pick up an F in his one-on-one -on -one training and my reason for that is you guys are probably wondering why did he get an F why did he fail his training session because I did pick up a B in uh, the first, because you can play uh, train your players three times. So you have three opportunities to try and get the highest overall with your player. And obviously, um, the one that you're most proud with, you can um, claim it as the final progress sort of thing. So you can claim it as the final result. So with Tosaigon, I got a B. I wanted to get an A. Sadly, I didn't get an A. 
and I really just stuffed up the final training session with him, or my final attempt at the training session. So sadly, he did get an F, but let's hope the next training session that will be coming up before the end of this episode, he can get an A, B, or even a C, at least pass as we will be uh, actually trying to sign a few more players. You guys did see, just before we head into this game against Athletic Bilbao in the Spanish Super Cup, I am inquiring about a young central attacking midfielder. Another midfielder, I just feel like I need to bring in another young midfielder. A, a midfielder that can play those games here and there when our main starting eleven is on low fitness. Aral Garcia, an Atletico Madrid man, has actually signed for Athletic Bilbao and he'll actually be playing this game against us. This is my Barcelona side for this game, the 4 3 3 formation with Neymar, Suarez, and Messi on top. Sergio Roberto. He'll be starting in the seat, a central midfield position with uh, Sergio Busquets and Andres Iniesta. And this is the Bill Bell side, sorry. And um, this is a Bill Bell side. They've got a pretty strong lineup. They're also starting the 4 3 3 formation. It's the same formation that we were starting for this game. As in the 38th minute, Sergio Roberto is on the ball. He's going to play it to Luis Suarez. He's going to look to try and get around the defender. He actually plays the ball to Neymar. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. And look at that finish there from the Brazilian Neymar. It was a fantastic finish. You guys can see that he just finessed that one into the back net. It was just an easy finish, a simple finish. And it was a very, very nice goal there from Neymar. Putting us 1-0 in the lead in the first half in this game. Remember, guys, that this is the first leg. So, obviously, there is a second leg. Um, and that will be played at Bill Bow's home ground. As in the 50th minute, they thought that they did level it at 1-1. So, they had a chance there. Their attacker did put the ball into the back net. But, sadly, the linesman has ruled him offside. Fortunately for us, they do not get a goal there. Yes, he was just offside. We were a bit fortunate there that the linesman did call that one offside. As in the 72nd minute, Messi plays the ball to Luis Suarez. We're going to try and make it 2-0. As Suarez plays it over the top to Neymar, he's going to take the ball down. Neymar does well to get around the defender. Actually takes a shot himself. The, uh, the keeper actually saves it, but the rebound falls to Andres Iniesta. And Iniesta is going to make a Barcelona 2, Bilbao 0. And after 75 minutes in the first leg of this Spanish Super Cup, we've made it 2-0. It's Barcelona 2, Athletic Bill Bell nil. And we're now 2 nil in the lead, uh, heading to the end of this game. And at full time after the 90 minutes, it's Barcelona 2, Athletic Bill Bell nil to end off this game. And what a way it is. It really our first competitive game. We did have that friendly competition that sadly we lost in the final to Dortmund. So this really was our first main game with my main squad because on the preseason games, we had the likes of Messi, Neymar, Bravo, um, all out on international duty. They really had their first game. Picking up a 2-0 win is awesome to see. And Neymar's goal was a, was a fantastic goal. And Iniesta, his goal was really just an easy one. The ball just fell to him. But hey... We, had, we took a 2-0 win in our first real competitive game. As the newly promoted side in the Premier League, Watford, come with the offer for Sergio Roberto that I am just going to reject. I'm going to flat out reject their offer. As the Bill Bow Central Tech and Midford 21-year-old, I want to say Akate. Um, Akate, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. If I am saying it wrong, guys, make sure you drop it in the comment section. We're actually going to offer him £5 million. Let's hope they can actually accept that. Because as I did say, I'm looking just really for a young central midfielder that can come into the side. Not say start in the starting 11, but really be that substitute sub, uh, that substitute player, maybe even a super sub for this season, for this upcoming season. As we are having the train, uh, the training, sorry, not transfer, but we're having the training here. This is actually going to be the final training in today's episode, and this is how we're actually going to end off today's episode. You guys are seeing I'm speeding up the training, and I am really enjoying, obviously, training FIFA 16. I did mention that a bit in the previous of episodes. I'm really enjoying training. And guys, once the full game does get does drop, and if you guys are not playing FIFA 16 at the moment, because obviously this is on the early access go do training. I really feel like you guys will also enjoy it. And also drop it in the comment section what plays you're going to assign, what teams you're using in your career modes also. As Lacazette picks up a B in that training session, 
with Messi, um, and I want to say Suarez too on the attacking line. As Bartra, his training session here with Messi, and I'm really enjoying training Bartra because this man is actually going up quite a bit. So really, Munier, Lacazette, Bartra, all three, and also Sergio Roberto. All four players are really improving in their overalls, in their stats, which is just awesome to see how my players are developing so much already. And we have just started this career mode. Just imagine at the end of, say, Season 2 or Season 3, how their stats are going to look like. And that's really a journey that me and you guys are going to go on, see how my players develop, and just see what we can do with this Barcelona side and try and pick up every single piece of silverware with this Barcelona team. As we are having this training session here with Ter Steigen, I want to say this is, yeah, that's the hard training session. We're actually doing the El Rondo with Sergio. Sergio Roberto, so obviously this is the passing uh, training session to try and improve Sergio Roberto's passing. But as I did say, this is how we're going to end off today's episode. We're actually going to take a look at one more uh, transfer offer to end off the episode as we will be receiving a, uh, you could say, count offer or a, a message from the other, from, I want to say, Athletic Bilbao letting us know about the signing of the young central midfielder as Munya and Tostigan do pick up A's and we will be kicking off the pre... Uh the, the La Liga season, sorry, against Athletic Bilbao. That is right, we're kicking off the La Liga season against Athletic Bilbao in the next episode. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you go support it by dropping a like rating. Drop comments down below that I could personally respond to. Also, click subscribe if you, if you are new around here. We kick off the league season in the next episode. Don't miss it, and I'll see you all on my next video.